What's going on, guys? Welcome back for more Mario's Missing Stupid Game Saturday style. In the last episode, we cleared out the four doors over there, which had, let's see if I can remember, we had New York, Italy, France, Russia, uh, Japan, uh, San Francisco, uh, that's six of them. I can't remember the other two. In this episode, we're going to be going to this world. And the rest of these six lands left. So, let's see. Where on earth are we, you stupid bitch? We landed at Heathrow. The double-decker bus head to the English... Had an English accent. Okay. Did I barely travel with her or something? Are these, like, the same people, like, tourists going with me around the world or something? I didn't see him in Bowser's Castle. Speaking of which, how come Bowser's Castle has a bunch of warp pipes to all these locations? <coughs> I don't know. Okay, welcome to London. I didn't expect this to be so far in the game. This is more than halfway. Jeez, I don't know. So, let's go see where these Koopas are. None are close to me, unless I'm on top of... There's only two of them. Why? Am I on top of one? Or am I just not seeing one? Oh no, I'm on top of one. Cool. That makes things easy. Ew. Ugh. That's disgusting. People shouldn't have to see that. God. I thought this was a kid's game. Okay, Koopa, where are you? Well, I'm surprised I hit that. Oh, a diamond. Hell yeah, that makes up for that ugly guy's... Wait a minute. Why am I returning this diamond? I could totally black market this for a shit ton of money. Screw turning it in. Luigi, come on, play on the bad side of life a little bit. Come on, it's a diamond. You're just gonna go return it? Dude, just use that, like, put that on a ring and engage the princess with it or something. I don't know. You can make so much freaking like, love for that. Like, you'll get everything. You'll get the princess. You'll get everyone. You'll get Daisy. You'll get anyone you want with a freaking diamond that size. Or that beautifully cut. I don't know much about weddings. But I know you could get some great things out of that ring. And they stole the Big Ben. It's going be bigger, man. Oh, man, I just turned on Cartoon Network randomly one day to see what the hell that was on. And it had that weird mad show on me. Making fun of that stupid Ben <laughs> 10 show. It was, it was kind of fun. I laughed a little bit. Okay, the BBC was Big Ben as its official mascot. Okay, apparently not. Big Ben is uh, 320. Thank you. And I got a decent amount of money for returning Big Ben. However, an orange is worth four times as much as Big Ben, apparently. I don't know. Maybe in yen. I don't know. Maybe all these people have been like giving me different money. Maybe that lady failed at a transaction and Luigi was just like not telling her about it. From the tower, you can see. The river? No, I don't know. We, who ordered the building of the tower? Uh, how about Henry? What's his name? No, probably not. From the tower, you can see the Thames. Sure. Wow, I got it wrong twice, and I still got more money. That's bass backwards. Okay, now go up twice into the right, and that's the end of London. London went pretty quick as well. Like, once you start knowing how to play this game, it starts going a lot faster and faster. And hell, the faster you do it, the faster this game can be over. Although the fastest way is just hitting the power button. But I don't want to do that. The Abbey is a masterpiece of what style of architecture? Gothic. It's always Gothic. Always Gothic. Just remember that. Because everyone loves Gothic. Okay, London done. Damn, Luigi. We got some fine stash of money going on here. 
And you're just still going after Mario. God, you can get so much with that money. Like 50000 You know what I would do with $50,000? I'd buy one badass laptop. And I'd be able to run <clears throat> all these games. And my opinion, job would be able to boost. Oh, crap. Why not? That's why now I gotta use like the home computer. It's a bitch. While you're here, you can see Guchos, Argentina's version of the cowboy. Okay, we're in Argentina, apparently. Cool. I'm pretty sure this over here is Argentina's, or it might be Chile. No, this is Argentina. Okay. Cool! Let's go. Now, this is some nice-looking buildings. This looks like it actually belongs in Mexico, or Argentina. Sorry. Uh, the uh, sideways flute? Or recorder? Whatever, I don't know. I don't know where I had to take recorder. Did anyone else have to do that? Like in third grade, they make you take like some instrument and you gotta learn how to play it. Like we had the recorder. Like everyone had to learn how to play the recorder. Play hot cross buns with it. Uh, man, have a little lamb, all that. I still have it. Is that a jump up? Cherries or a scrunchie? I know we just got out of the 80s, but come on. Okay, down and then to the right. Come on, Luigi, we got a Koopa to catch. That is an alliteration. Okay. <clears throat> this music actually sounds pretty cool. I will give you that. You have some nice Mexico music. <clears throat> Argentine music, sure. And another rock. Another freaking rock. Why? Why are rocks and bells so special to the world? Maybe there's a special to Mario's missing. I don't know. I've, I've never heard of like half these items. Whatever. This is not working. This is the Gotcho Museum. The cowboy thing that that bitch was talking about earlier. <sighs> Go up into the right again. At least both of these are in a straight line. This is like the first time in the game that they've had this. Several people, where is the obelisk monument honor? Tall buildings. How about the fountain? Yeah, there you go. There's no amount of money for that. Now let's go to this one. How many people can fit in the stage of the Tetro Column? Let's, uh, let's go with that one. Nope. Uh, let's go 600. There we go. Okay. Why does it always say without tax? Like, does it have to always really say that? It's like a joke. Huh? But without tax, you smart little kid know what tax is. What's tax? You're supposed to know what tax is. Do you play video games? Don't you ever play educational video games? No, because they suck. What is the American version of the gotcha, cowboy? Thank you, girl who helped me earlier. I never thought you'd actually help me out with a question. <coughs> Whatever, I probably could have answered it anyway. Another sack of money and we're still good. <coughs> Two more doors left. <coughs> and we're only nine minutes in. Julio, we're almost done. Almost done. <clears throat> no one cares. Where are we? If you want to get mail here, the envelope must say North America, the Earth, and the Milky Way. <clears throat> what? Well, it's in North America, apparently. Wait, why must it say all that Milky Way crap? Is there apparently, like, aliens here? Is that why? Let's go with Mexico, then. Mexicans hunt aliens or something? Wait, what? Wait. <clears throat> I don't even know. Why the hell does it have to say all that, like, the Milky Way? Is that true? 
Do you really have to pull like the Milky Way galaxy and all that? I never knew that. That's actually kind of interesting. What the? Oh wait, that's an angel. Okay. I thought that was another bell again. I'm sorry. That that uh, that's an angel. I will agree. That's an angel. That's like what you put on top of a Christmas tree. That's okay. I thought that was another bell. I would have been pissed if that was another bell. No, my luck though. This is gonna be a bell. No, it's a book. What is it like? The angel? A Bible? Is that what we're going for here? There we are. And uh, what? Sure. A tablet. I don't know. Let's go return these items. Oh, uh, great. The boring part. Returning the items that you just found. At least they get us a poop ton of money for it. And wrong place. Where are the other ones? Okay, good. These two are in a straight line again. Cool. Uh, it's almost time for lunch. I want to eat something. It's hard to stomach this game. <laughs> And apparently this site doesn't seem to be working either. Whatever, we gotta go to the left anyway. Rivera is known for his... Funny murals. Colorful, I guess. No, apparently not colorful. The name of the mural is... <clears throat> of the Mexican people and their struggle for freedom and independence. Epic. Oh yeah! That was epic! Next... The museum used to be a royal palace. Sure. <clears throat> Only nine hundred. Damn. What did I do to piss off Mexico? They only paid me nine hundred. Oh God! Don't make a joke. Don't make a joke. Don't make a joke. Don't make a joke. Okay. I think I stopped myself. <clears throat> the angel faces. Uh, that one. I don't know. The angel faces. That one. Sure. Fifteen hundred, and we're done here. I used to hate that whole fifteen hundred and like sixteen hundred thing. Like, why can't you just say one thousand six hundred? Stop being lazy. But now I'm starting to realize. Oh wait a minute. I'm very lazy. Screw it. I'm going to use those abbreviations. I, I still can't use the grands, though. I don't know what grand even means. Does that mean, like, two zeros or three zeros? <clears throat> I'm guessing it means two. I don't really risk it, though. In case I sound like a dumbass. So, I just say, like, 20,000. All that. I don't say, like, 20 grand. I don't know. Down the pipe. <clears throat> Okay, where am I at? From Saudi Arabia, we entered Egypt by the southeast border. Dancing camels were our trusty partners. Porters. Porters, I guess. Dancing camels? I don't know camels dance. <coughs> it's like that short, bounding. Cairo, Egypt. It'd be so funny if Luigi got, like, costumes. <clears throat> like here he gets like a tur he gets like a turban. Like walks through the city. That'd be kinda cool. They stole a pyramid. How? How? Is either with, with this game how or why? Why would be oranges? How would be King Kong and the friggin' Egyptian the pyramids? I don't know. Okay. Alright, this actually looks like it's easy. <clears throat> There's just like a second half of the city. That's not hard at all. That should be right here. <clears throat> <clears throat> Still clearing my throat. <clears> throat> Talking too much. That is a clock tower. Down one and then to the left. 
Cross Super Bridge. To Super Bridge! That wasn't a very super bridge, but whatever. We should be right here! What the hell is that thing? Please be the lady I need to return this stuff to. God damn it. At least they're all in a direct line. That's actually very nice of them to do so. Alright, let's go with this one then. This is probably the one. Nope, apparently not. It's the very bottom one, bitch. Oh, this one. The Sphinx is located in... Geyser. Okay. Now we go to the middle one. I don't need to open the map because I already know where four are. Three. Shut up. What you get is what you see. Pyramids were built to be... Tombs. Why'd you rhyme? And seriously, how could you try to return the pyramid? I don't know. What did the Egyptians trade for the clock tower? Let's pay for French fries. <laughs> Bobbles. Alabaster. I don't know. What we find inside the main dome building? The Ottoman Empire. <laughs> Egyptian sultans, the clock tower. Nope, I don't know. Who lived in the mosque in that time? I don't know. What did you find inside the main dome? The sultan's crypt, there you go. Okay. I'm done. Goodbye. Oh, there's the bridge. And in the middle of the bridge is... No. Okay, it's the middle bridge that has it. There's that stoner guy that keeps walking by. The only guy that could keep it straight with me where I was was like New York City. By the way, I kind of knew where I was in like the very first thing. I wasn't actually surprised. I knew I was in New York City. I always remember that being as the first. But anyway, we're down to the final door. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Okay. Two more pipes left to go. One of these is... Uh... Kenya, and the other is whatever's left. We came through Mombasa and picked our way through the lions and elephants to this capital city. Woo, Kenya! Stereotypical for lions and wild animals. Woo! Oh, you stereotypical Jewish bags. Jewish bags. Jewish bags. Who's Kansan? An elephant. Cool. Being more stereotypes towards them. Towards Kenyans. Next you're going to be telling like, like running jokes or something bad. I don't know. I'm not much for stereotypical jokes. Because I... I understand that people may get offended by those jokes. So I don't make them. Or... Enjoy listening to them. Because I don't like offending people. Because then I get my ass kicked. And we got, like, feathers. Okay. Alright. Wait a minute. Was that, like, the Flintstones house? These houses look like they belong in a Flintstones game. Oh, whatever. Can't believe I never noticed that until now. Okay. That's a skull. That's a little messed up. Did I even check the items I grabbed from the last one? I don't even remember checking them. I don't know. I don't know. Nope. Um, we gotta go that way. Why is there a friggin' skull that's nasty? Wait, wait, wait. I can use the layout to my advantage. Since I know that's going to be the skull, it's going to be the upward one, right? Because the skull is the third item I picked up. Hey, hey, I was smart. 
Are you shitting me? It was the skull. What the fuck? That's the third item I picked up. Is there any order? Oh my god. This game's poopy. How old is that skull you're holding? Uh, 3,000? I don't know. Anthropologist that Kenya may be the birthplace of mankind. Why? Very old human fossils. Woo! Wow, I got a lot of money for that one, too. That was like the second most expensive thing in the game, next to the oranges. Fucking oranges. I can never eat an orange the same way again, knowing that someone in the world spent $4,000 on an orange. Kleptozoologist. Is that what she was talking about? Wasn't there a show on that in Cartoon Network that, like, bombed because it sucked? The safari Park is important because it allows animals to be caught with wild safari balls. Meeting Greek humans. Rome free. I also got a good amount of money for that one. Kenya's being very nice with their prices. Unlike Mexico, 900. God. The Masami, the ba ba ba, make a living from what animals? Small birds. No, apparently not. What does a Masai warrior use to dye skin red? Tomato paste? I don't know. How about okra plants? I don't know. How about the okra paste? Again, 2400. Ah, oh, great. All the warp pipes are, like, far away. Screw it. I'm gonna go for the down one. Well, guys, Kenya's done. With that leaves the final world until we finish this horrible, shitty game. Okay, guys. Are you ready? Here's the final country of the game. And it is... Kuba, 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 Kuba. And if you cannot tell by the music, it's obviously China. Well, I don't even need to ask any of these people. It just gave it away with that sign, with like that music signal. I would have thought Japan would be last. That'd be kind of funny because it was a Japan-made game. All right, so let's see what Adam was. Okay. I don't buy that they stole that. <laughs> How could they carry that? Ugh. I guess I should be going over, while this game's about to end, the shitty aspects of this game, if you honestly could not already understand. The shitty aspects of this game is simply put, it's boring. It is not fun. This game is the epitome of a bad time. There is no fun to be had with this game whatsoever. It is that bad. And Pagoda. I don't know. This game is just... Ugh. The fact that they have to give you a map to go through a simple NES game is beyond me. You really don't need the map, but the fact is it actually does help make the game easier. These questions that you don't know how to answer, like who is forbidding the map, I don't know, forbidden cave to the heavenly gate. Everyone and everything. Nope, I don't know. Who built the heavenly gate? Uh... Kui. Nope, I don't know. Who, uh, the emperor's tail? Everyone but the emperor. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, this game, it's just like really boring, it's really hard, it's not hard, but it's just, there's no fun in it. You're going around collecting items, and half the items you don't even know what they are. Maybe if they were items that you could easily pick out, but I don't know. Just no. I don't know how, what this question is. What did the Emperor do here when I, I hear it? Vested and prayed. Yeah, there you go. I mean... I, the, the fact that you just have to go around fighting... Finding items and killing Koopas, it, it's just not fun. You think it sounds fun. There could be a million ways they can make this game better. 
Like literally going around in the city and there's a bunch of enemies. That'd be so cool. Just like Mario in real life. That's what it basically would be. It'd be like the movie. But no, they made it educational. They made it so you can't die. It's just not fun. I know some games are kind of cool, like where you can't die, and it still can be fun, like Kirby's Epic Yarn. But still, it's just so bad. When did the building of the Great Wall begin? Uh, 5th century. Uh, let's go with that one. Yeah. So, that's basically it. I pretty much finished the game. There's only one thing left to do, and you're going to laugh if you've never seen this before. And that's my final score. Yep, so just going around in town, fighting, like, Koopas, it's just not hard at all. Three Koopas, literally. Since there's three, that means you're fighting six enemies per door. Six times seven, you have to kill 42 enemies to beat the game, that's it. That's all there is to it. It's the same game every time. There's no replay value whatsoever. Other than to see if you can get a higher score. Yeah, it's totally random if you get a higher score. It's obviously not determined by how well you do. It's just determined by whatever factor this game runs on. They try to appeal with cool looking graphics, but utterly it's just a failed experiment of a game. And it is horrible. End of story. And with that, you can see that this path opens really ugly because now there's like no bricks anymore it just like looks like it's ugly but now let's finish the game oh no this is so hard I can't even die how difficult he just runs back and forth this is so difficult what do I do maybe I have to hump him no that doesn't work Maybe I have to jump him and threaten him. Nope, that doesn't work either. Well, let's try jumping on him. Oh, that seemed to do something. He doesn't get any faster, any harder, or anything. Six jumps. Seven jumps. Eight jumps, he's dead. A giant key. And there you go. Thank you. And that's Mario's missing for you guys. You get a nice 8-bit uh, version of Mario Bros. And that's the game. Pretty crappy, huh? Yeah, I thought so too. So you know what? It's a terrible game. If you ever get an NES system, or you ever get this game, just, you know, don't even touch it. You don't have to destroy it. I mean, it's not that bad, but... <coughs> it's just so bad. It's a really bad game. It does not deserve to even exist on the NES. The only good part is slightly the graphics and this song at the very end. Boy! Just go buy the original Mario, pop it in, and pause it on World 1-1. Actually, you can't pause it. But just play it in constant loop. Just, that's all you have to do. And you can hear the whole song. I mean, I'm not saying, like... What's, what's the point? What's the point of beating the game to get a song you can just easily hear if you just bought the game? <sighs> What an awful game. Plus, it's stuck on the screen as well. So, you know what? Stupid Game Saturday for this week. Done. And with that, Stupid Game Saturday, we end off for now. Next week, I'll be back with another Stupid Game. But right now, the last thing I want to do for this game is to beat it with a bat. Nah, I'll do that later. See you guys next time for more Stupid Game Saturday and perhaps a better game. Probably not.